Hey guys, I am Supraba. In this video, we will move on to the next point that is evolution of improper integral. In this video tutorial, we will first understand the definition of improper in integral through an example and then we will move on to other cases. Definition says, it is definite integral that, that has either or both limits infinite or the other definition is integral approaches infinity at one or more points. Now, before we understand this definition, let us recall the two more integrals that we saw in last two videos. The indefinite integral is of form integration f of x dx. That is, there are no limits specified. In the definite integral, the form was integration a to b f of x dx. That is, the closed interval specified was a to b. Now, improper integral is the form of definite integral but one of the limits or both the limits are equal to infinity. If both the limits are specified, then at either point a or b, the result of the function will be equal to infinity. We will understand the first definition through an example. Integration 1 to infinity 3 into x raised to minus 2 dx. Now, in such cases, what we are supposed to do is replace the limit that is equal to infinity by any variable. So, in this case, the upper limit is equal to infinity. So, we will replace upper limit is equal to y. We will substitute this in our given integration 1 to y 3 into x raised to minus 2 dx. Integration of th 3 into x raised to minus 2 will be 3 x raised to minus 1 divided by minus 1 limits are 1 to y. This can be written as minus 3 x raised to minus 1 can be written as 1 divided by x limits are 1 to y minus 3. We will now substitute the limits. Substituting upper limit 1 divided by y lower limit x equal to 1. Now y is infinity minus 3, 1 divided by infinity is 0, 1 divided by 1, 1, so minus 3 into minus 1 will be 3. So, here we can see that limits are unbounded or the function is unbounded. First case, if f of x is continuous on closed interval a and open interval b and not continuous at x equal to b, then that is, whenever we will substitute x is equal to b, the integral will approach to infinity. What we will do in this case is, integration a to b f of x dx, that is at x equal to b, the given function will approach to infinity. In such cases, replace that point or that limit by c. So, we can say limit c tending to b minus integration a to c f of x dx, b is replaced by C. The other case can be if f of x is continuous on open interval a and closed interval b and not continuous at x equal to a. So, this will write open interval a and closed interval b and not continuous on x equal to a. So, the integral will be a to b f of x dx is equal to limit c tending to a plus integration c to a f of x dx. Here the, sorry, b. a will be replaced by c. Next case, if f of x is not continuous at x equal to c point and this c lies in between the, both the limits a and b, then it will be integration a to b f of x dx is equal to integration a to c f of x dx plus integration c to b f of x dx. Example, integration 0 to 3, 1 divided by under root 3 minus x dx. Now, here if we substitute the upper limit b or equal to 3 in this integration, 3 minus 3 that is 0. So, this integral will approach to infinity. So, what we will do is, we will use this form limit c tending to b minus that is 3 minus f of x 
or I'll directly write 1 divided by 3 minus x dx. Here it is integration 0 to 3. This is 3 minus, not 3 raised to minus 1. Now, integration of this can be written as limit c tending to 3 minus. First, we will write this in the form under root 3 minus x raised to minus half dx. Limit c tending to 3, sorry, 3 minus. Integration of this will be minus 2 under root 3 minus x. Limits are 0 to 3. 0 to 3, sorry, this is not 0 to 3, it is 0 to c. It is a to c, that means 0 to c. Now we will substitute the limits. Limit c tending to 3 minus, we will take this minus 2 outside. We will substitute the limits. Upper limit is c, 3 minus c minus lower limit 3 minus 0. 3. So, this will be limit c tending to 3 minus. We will substitute that. We will get 3 minus 3 equal to 0. So, this will be 2 into minus root 3 that is 2 root 3. So, this is all about improper integral. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you understood the concept. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. For more details, you can refer these videos. Guys, help us to help you. So, please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.